Welcome to Carolina Week Sports. I'm Deshaun Brown. Now, the Heels got a little more than they bargained for a Tuesday night at Boshamer Stadium against Campbell University. The Heels were down 4-1 to through 5 innings, but rallied to tie the game twice. The work didn't stop there. Campbell had an answer for every tie, scoring the run here. The Heels scrambled to keep up as the game went into the 10th inning, but it was UNC freshman Kyle Seeger who sends the home run well over the right field wall to tie the score at 5. Oh, but don't celebrate just yet. The Camels would score two runs in the 11th to seal the win 7-5. to five. After the game, UNC head coach Mike Fox told his players they can't overlook the smaller teams. You know, you can't take anything for granted in this game, and, and you know, it's a bad loss for us. I mean, any way you look at it, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a bad loss. Carolina has a long roster of professional athletes, and not just in basketball and football. Sports reporter Brandon Curry sat down with one athlete who had to leave the States to go pro. Well, when I first came to Carolina, I wasn't even aware that there was a club water polo team, so I decided I was just going to at least swim for a while and then maybe try to go to another school. But at Fall Fest, actually, I came across the water polo table, decided to give it a try. Thank you, Fall Fest, because of you, UNC's water polo team torpedoed to the top. We won the Atlantic Conference sophomore year. Then at Club Nationals, we ended up finishing ninth. So for a short period of time, we were ranked ninth in the country, which is pretty amazing for an East Coast team. Amazing is the word to describe Adrian Cummins, two-time Atlantic Division Player of the Year and 2006 First Team All-American which is interesting because that is not an American accent. Um, I'm from Barbados, which is in the Southeast Caribbean. I'm pretty small, about 277,000 people. Um, basically, everything you've heard about paradise, <laughs> you have to get to live there, I guess. <laughs> Going from paradise to the southern part of heaven isn't too bad, but Chapel Hill is lacking experienced water polo players. Well, I guess the benefit of growing up in Barbados is that um, I was swimming since I was about three years old, and most of the guys on the team, we all grew up swimming together. So our style of play is a lot faster. Whereas at Carolina, since we have a lot of people coming in that have never played the sport before, we try to build more from the ground up. So teach the fundamentals, instill a certain level of discipline, and then just work on our execution. At the end of this season, Adrian swims off into the sunset. In Chapel Hill, I'm Brandon Curry, Carolina Week Sports. And guys, next year, Adrian will travel to Australia to join a professional water polo league. Sounds like a pretty cool career, Deshaun. Thanks. Kids love to play with paper mache. But many of us outgrow that by the time we reach college age. Not this guy, though. We'll show you what he has in the mix when we come back.